Elon Musk said that the odds of us not being in the simulation are in the billions. He believes wholeheartedly that we're in a simulation. It would seem to follow that the odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. Long before Elon Musk questioned our reality, before the Matrix made us doubt our existence, ancient Hindu sages proclaimed a shocking truth. This world is Maya, a divine simulation controlling our perception of reality. The veil between illusion and truth is thinner than you think. And once you see through it, nothing will ever be the same. 5,000 years ago, in the fertile valleys of the Indian subcontinent, sages received divine knowledge through deep meditation. These revelations were preserved in sacred texts called the Upanishad, containing a concept so profound that it continues to astonish modern philosophers and scientists alike the concept of Maya. Maya is not simply illusion, but describes everything we experience through our senses as a projection of the divine. According to Hindu tradition, what we perceive as reality is actually a cosmic dream produced by Brahman, the ultimate consciousness underlying all existence. The Upanishad states, from the unreal lead me to the real, from darkness lead me to light. This acknowledges that humans exist in a state of cosmic confusion, mistaking appearances for ultimate reality. In the Upanishad, we find the line, that thou art. This reveals that our true self is not separate from the cosmic consciousness generating all existence. We are not merely characters in the simulation, we are aspects of the programmer. To understand Maya, consider your dreams. When dreaming, you create entire worlds with characters, places, and events. The dream feels absolutely real until you wake up. The Mandukya Upanishad describes four states of consciousness, waking, dreaming, deep sleep, and Turiya, transcendental consciousness. According to this ancient text, only Turiya represents true awakening. Our normal waking state is actually just another form of dream, albeit a collective one. Adi Shankaracharya wrote, The world is an appearance, not ultimate reality. Just as a rope in dim light appears to be a snake, causing fear and confusion, the true nature of existence is misperceived due to ignorance. In Hindu tradition, this cosmic illusion serves a purpose. It is through Maya that the formless, boundless Brahman experiences limitation, form, and the righteousness of existence. Maya both conceals ultimate reality and projects the world we experience. Maya isn't just any illusion. It's a power so vast it can make the unreal seem real. Imagine the most realistic video game ever created. But instead of using a controller, you're inside it, feeling, tasting, touching everything, completely convinced it's real. The Hindu scriptures calls Maya extremely difficult to overcome. Lord Krishna explains to Arjuna that divine Maya creates a world of dualities, pleasure and pain, victory and defeat, that trap our minds in endless cycles of desire and suffering. But here's the twist. Unlike modern simulation theories that suggest some advanced civilization created our reality, Hindu texts reveal something far more astonishing. We are willing participants in this grand illusion. Our true self, the Atman, is one with the cosmic programmer, Brahman. We've simply forgotten our administrator access. When quantum physicists discovered that particles don't exist in definite states until observed, they unwittingly echoed what Hindu sages proclaimed thousands of years earlier. The observer effect, where consciousness affects reality, aligns perfectly with the ancient concept of Maya. The double slit experiment shows that particles behave differently when observed. It's as if reality renders only when we're looking, exactly how video game environments work, loading only what the player can see. Even more startling, physicist John Wheeler proposed the participatory universe theory, suggesting that observers are vital to creating reality. This mirrors the Hindu concept that consciousness is fundamental to existence, not just a byproduct of the brain. Our senses, touch, taste, smell, sight and hearing are like limited input devices connecting us to this simulated reality. The Upanishad compares these senses to horses drawing the chariot of the body with the mind as the reins. Think about it. We don't experience reality directly. Our brains interpret electrical signals from our sensory organs to create our perception. Colors don't exist outside our minds. They are interpretations of different wavelengths of light. Touch is just pressure signals. Taste is chemical information. The Yoga Vashisht, an ancient Hindu text, states, The world appears to you as you think it to be. Modern neuroscience confirms this, showing how our brains create our experience of reality rather than simply receiving it. 
Unlike the red pill in the matrix, Hindu tradition offers practical methods to see through Maya. Meditation, yoga and self-inquiry were developed thousands of years ago specifically to pierce the veil of illusion. The great sage Adi Shankaracharya taught that through Advait Vedant, non-dualistic understanding, one could directly experience the unity behind the apparent diversity of the world. This experience called Smadi is described as awakening from a dream. When a person awakens to the truth, Maya doesn't disappear, the world continues to exist. But they see it for what it is, a play of consciousness, a divine game called Leela. The Upanishad describes this state, when the self is known, all is known. Why would ultimate reality create a simulation? The Hindu tradition offers a surprising answer. Leela, divine play. Unlike simulation theories that suggest sinister motives, Hindu texts describe creation as an expression of joy and creativity. The cosmic dance of Lord Shiva symbolizes this constant creation and destruction cycle. The universe is not a prison but a playground, a stage for infinite experiences and possibilities. Brahman, the ultimate reality, is described as Sat Jitta Anand, existence, consciousness, and bliss. The simulation springs from this blissful consciousness, not from cold calculation or control. In the Yog Vashisht, Sage Vashisht tells Lord Rama about multiple worlds existing simultaneously, each with its own space-time continuum, anticipating modern multiverse theories by thousands of years. Understanding Maya doesn't mean rejecting the world. Instead, Hindu tradition advocates living with awareness, playing the game skillfully while remembering it is a game. The Bhagavad Gita offers guidance. You have the right to act but never to the fruit of act. You should never engage in action for the sake of reward, nor should you long for inaction. This perspective transforms everyday life. Pain and pleasure, success and failure are understood as temporary experiences within the simulation rather than ultimate realities. This doesn't diminish their immediate impact but places them in proper perspective. The concept promotes compassion. If we are all expressions of the same consciousness temporarily forgetting our unity, then hurting others means hurting aspects of ourselves. The simulation is designed for learning and growth, not exploitation. The Hindu concept of Maya offers a perspective on reality that was thousands of years ahead of its time. Long before digital technology gave us the language of simulations and virtual reality, ancient sages recognized that our conventional experience might not represent ultimate truth. Whether we call it a divine dream, a cosmic illusion, or a metaphysical simulation, the concept invites us to question our most basic assumptions about existence. It suggests reality might be infinitely more magnificent, mysterious, and interconnected than our everyday perception reveals. As modern physics continues to discover the counter-intuitive nature of reality at its foundations, the wisdom of ancient Hindu seers seems increasingly prescient. They understood, without scientific instruments, that solid matter is mostly empty space, that observer and observed are inseparably connected, and that consciousness itself might be the foundation of everything we experience. The next time you look at the world around you, consider this ancient possibility. Everything you see, touch, and experience might be an elaborate cosmic dream, and awakening from that dream might be the ultimate purpose of human existence.